welcome back friends welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's biology and this video is all about mnemonics and memory skills it's about interleukins and their functions I've got a lot of requests that how to remember a list of all those interleukins although in this video I'm enlisted most of the important interleukins that are required uh, for the genuine function of our immune system so how to remember interleukins within five minutes so that's what you're concerned this video is just for you so to understand interleukins in five minutes and all of the interleukins as well as their function you need to know only one thing you know in this case you don't need to form any story or stuff like that but just only one thing a delicious hot tea bone right it may not be much familiar for Indian audience but for the outside India it is a familiar one so hot delicious tea bone stick is what you need to remember to understand the functions of interleukins but to understand all the roles of interleukins you just need to know one particular picture which is this one you know why I draw this picture although you may see like how to remember this but actually it's quite easy to remember just to start with we start with antigen presenting cells like macrophage which can produce the preliminary interleukins and preliminary interleukins obviously will be what one right so we'll start it's it's like a number journey from one zero to one then finally to six seven eight nine ten or something like that so that's a complete journey which which is quite easy because we all know to ca count from zero to ten so it start with interleukin one or interleukin twelve you know let's begin with interleukin twelve if antigen presenting cell like macrophage secretes interleukin twelve which is going to act on t zero that comes the first in the number zero T0 is known as a naive T helper cell so they are not specified by their function upon receiving interleukin 12 then T0 can mature either to TH1 or TH2 T helper 1 or T helper 2 now if they produce T helper 1 so it comes 1 after 0 that's quite good if T helper 1 is activated T helper 1 will secrete 2 and 3 and interferon gamma remember one thing we started the journey from naive T cell which was 0 now we go to T helper 1 T helper 1 is secreting interleukin 2 and interleukin 3 and interferon gamma and as you look gamma is also third Greek letter so that's also quite fair so all of this from 0 1 2 3 now that interferon gamma can signal cytotoxic T cells or cytotoxic killer cells known as CD8 T cells to be activated let's and that process now if we go with the T helper 2 cells T helper 2 on the other hand will secrete interleukin 4 5 and 6 which will ultimately signal B cells to mature into plasma cells which will turn into antibody secreting factories so you know T helper 1 uh, once formed from naive T cell they will produce 1 interleukin 2 and interleukin 3 and interferon gamma and T helper 2 is going to release interleukin 4, 5 and 6 so we are going from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this 4, 5, 6 are responsible to convert B cell into plasma cells now once plasma cells are active plasma cells will also produce another interleukin that is known as interleukin 10 and interleukin 10 is going to repress the act of antigen presenting cell it's going to inhibit the activity of antigen presenting cells to release uh, or prevent the release of interleukin 12 further so it's it's a negative feedback loop that we can see on the other hand is antigen presenting cell as I told you at the very beginning can also secrete interleukin 1 but if it secretes interleukin 1 naive T cell or T0 is going to differentiate only into T helper 2 remember if they secrete interleukin 12 naive T cell can become either 1 T helper 1 or T helper 2 but if they secrete interleukin 1 then the naive T cell will become T helper 2 and then exactly the same process so as you imagine here there's nothing difficult to remember it's simply a sequential process simply counting from 0 to 6 and then 10 now how to remember the function of all those interleukins you know you need to remember hot t-bone stick so when you talk about hot t-bone stick what do we mean let me erase all these things in here okay so now if you look at here hot t-bone stick letters which are written in red are the one that you need to follow for example hot interleukin 1 so it starts with interleukin 1 which is hot hot means fever so interleukin 1 causes fever then capital T is the second interleukin so the function of interleukin 2 is T cell stimulation then the third one bone so interleukin 3 bone marrow stimulator it stimulate the granulocyte monocyte colony stimulating factor and also uh, granulocyte simply uh, colony stimulating factor 
Now the fourth one is E. E is IgE or immunoglobulin E. It helps in the class switching from IgG for the B cell growth. It also helps the B cell growth. And the fifth interleukin is A. So A is linked with IgE or in immunoglobulin A or eosinophils. So the activation of eosinophils and the influencing uh, B cells to produce IgA antibody. Okay, so that's all about interleukin mnemonics and that's how you need to remember the name of the interleukins and their functions. So that's quite easy, isn't it? So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that and enjoy a hot delicious tea bone. Thank you.